and welcome back to episode two. Let's get right to it. I'm ready to go here. So we have the launch codes. Uh, we are caught in a loop, it appears. Let's, uh, oh, oh, hold up. You're going to want to get those launch codes, he says. I feel like he didn't say that last time. Um, I already got them from the observatory, remember? How did I get back here? Didn't I already lift off? Wait, did I just die? How did I get back here? Trust me, with the modifications I've made to those rockets, there's no way I would have missed that. I won't ask how you got the launch codes, right? But since you have them, get a move on. I want to see whether the new cockpit stays attached during liftoff. Oh, no. Okay, well, uh, this is going to be a familiar scene for us. We're going to be doing this multiple times. We're going to come back. We're going to jump. We're going to go. Um, I think we're all caught up. There's always going to be kind of a sense of urgency sometimes, unless we're just screwing around. You know what? I think uh, let's suit up just because I'll forget. Oh, and we should do that anyway. We should forget the suit once in a while. Let's get in, and let's go. We're back. It's that simple. It took forever last game to get there, but, um... Okay, so I want to do a little bit of looking. Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that the set? See, I'm like... I'm trying to figure out... What... I wanted to find the satellite that's going around. Is this just going around us? I don't know. Okay, I'm a little lost for a minute. Um, you know what I want to do? First of all, oh. Now, once again, for if you're just joining me on this, this is going to be a rediscovery because I see a little something over here. And I cannot, like right there, what is that? A uh, giant steep. And now this is an unknown here, is it? Is it not? Now let's go for this. Oh, oh. I don't know if we can. Well, either way, here's the deal. Um. No, I'm not going to go for that. That is a uh, a little something something that we're going to hear about. I'm going to wait for the game to kind of uh, discover it for us, to for anybody who's kind of watching this for the first time. But our goal right now is to explore, um, to just get lore, to read the story, to um, like fill out our, uh, our journal so that we can understand the story. Oh, st stage one, aligning, I don't, let's, uh, aligning to solar system feel like did we ever have that before that's weird oh no get out of here oh aboard autopilot there we go I hit the wrong button that was it what I'm looking for here is that's timber hearth brittle hollow giant steep all places we want to go, right? The interloper. Which is the um, the comet that's going around. Not a satellite. Ash twin, which is very close to the sun. I think Mercury. Brittle hollow. Oh man, this game. Okay, well in that case... I don't, I don't know. Is there anything else I can find? We're just out in space. You know what, for fun, let's, um... Can we match velocity? Let's quit running around. I'm gonna do a little something, something crazy here for a minute. I'm just trying to get my bearings on this game, too. Oh. Let's get out. And, oh my god. Where's our, where's our spaceship? How far away did I go? I'm lost for a minute. Oh, there's our ship. Okay, I gotta get used to being able to find our ship. We only have so much oxygen and so much fuel. 
Look at this. So crazy. And then what was it? Um, hold L1. There we go to turn. So if we hit something, I know we can, um, we can like realign ourselves. I'm just trying to see here. The sun, of course. Giant steep. Riddle hollow. Interloper. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I was trying to think maybe we could figure out what's going on with the um with the satellite. Let's uh see if this will yeah. let's just head somewhere. So what I would like to do is head home actually. Let's go to Timber Hearth. Let's engage autopilot. Hmm. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, is that just a galaxy exploding out there? What was that? Oh, oh, what is, oh, what is that? Dark Bramble. Ooh, it is dark as hell. That's what I see. The Twin Suns. Wait, what is that? No, that's nothing. Okay. Oh, what is that? <laughs> okay, those who know, know. That's, it's a moon. Wait, there's two moons, you say. You know what? That'll work. <laughs> I did not mean to run into... Th <laughs> it's so easy, though. But guess what? We get a restart, then. I want to look a little bit on our planet this time and uh, get some information, you know, explore home before we go further. Oh, did you notice something there? I'll just say there was just a moon in our sight and it just disappeared. What was that? Is that other thing a satellite going around? I feel like that's that's a different part that might lead us towards the DLC or something, but I don't understand how to get to it. So. Now, I no, no uh, spoilers, nothing about that. I believe I'd heard back when that possibly the DLC is like kind of an add-on, so we might want to go through most of the main game, if not all the main game, as we work our way towards it. So that's why I'm going to kind of aim for that a little bit. If we find a way to, you know, if we, a discovery on our way, like, it's going to blow my mind, I'm sure. But until then, we're just going to kind of chill. So let's see here. Ah, oh, this damn game. And eventually I'm going to get to more and more cuts, I think, as I'm trying to accomplish something and we see it. If I die in the middle, like, over and over trying to do something, um, we'll cut it up. Let's come over here. Oh, because this is, yeah, this will give us needed context. And there's gravity, so... You know what? So we don't need our um, suit either, because there's oxygen. Let's go talk to this guy. Here we go. Oh, I just love it. So beautiful, this game. And P PlayStation 5, you guys. Hello, hey -o, Hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me, I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Uh, so what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might have come off a dark bramble. Of Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. 
Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over there. Obviously, the opening is too small for something to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. So, it's uh, giving us a bunch of rules here, isn't it? That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Blasted seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I liked this crater. Need something from me, Hatchley? Hatch Hatchling, you're sure the seed isn't from Timberhearth? Back in my younger days, I explored everywhere there is to go on Timberhearth and saw everything there is to see and then some. Trust me, we don't have anything like this. Nah, I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble. If it's from anywhere, Hatchling. Okay. And by the way, let's see this dude. Let's talk to you. Sorry I wasn't looking at your face. Um, sorry, where was the old one? It was just telling me. Maybe I should have, I should grab my, uh, suit no matter what. I should just be suited up. Oh, there we go. Because so I think I can use... There we go. And there's no, I have my light, but there's no, like, look around for objects or anything. Sometimes around here there are, um... By the way, we're on the North Pole, I think. Sometime we found those, uh, like, audio files. And I do not need to get every single little bit of stuff here. Like, this game has some, I know, some hidden things. Maybe we're going to explore it and find things that I never found before. And I'm going to, like, the sense of discovery will be coming about throughout. Um... Okay, so I can jetpack boost. So where was the old damaged scout? That's all I was trying to see. Okay, either way. Um, sig signal scope, no, equip scout launcher. There we go. Let's, let's, uh, you launch and then take snapshot. Oh, photo mode. I forgot about that. Put away. Oh, look at this ship log updated. So we just went into this thing. But... 600 meters. Oh, look at... Oh, what is that, guys? Oh. I get this damn game. We're going to uh, retrieve one more time. I'm remembering, like, parts of it, but not all of it. Like, that looks like a, you know, a classic anglerfish, as it were. But it, it had... There we go. Let's just keep that one for a minute. It has trees growing in it, so there's oxygen there, and there's something in the middle. And it's all, like, surrounded by roots and all that. So, obviously, I can't go in here. It won't... Suit puncture detected. Oh, hold the... I forgot we could puncture and hold. Well, we're learning, aren't we now? Go in the back side. I gotta get used to doing this. Oh, now we're going in the other way. I just wonder if it, it's going the same direction, what the physics of this are. Are we going to see the same? Oh, we are seeing the same thing. Okay. All right, well, we're out of here. Um, remember last time, too, we saw a geyser. A geyser. Oh, this is so pretty. So let's go check out the geyser. Come on. Shimon. Shimon. And then our oxygen is back. You know, I think we have to take it off and put it back on to get our fuel back. Am I wrong? There. Let's, uh, let's head up and see what else we can find on our planet here. 
There might be more. Ooh. Um. Oh, that's the. These are mountains. You know what? These are mountains. But I don't. No, and there. Let's um, let's see if we can do this without killing ourselves. Oh, oh my God! It's L. It's L one to rotate and to turn. I'm trying to. There's there's our beautiful sun that um seems to be exploding on us. Right? Am I wrong? Oh, okay. How about this first? Let's head over here. Did find some uh, no my ruins. Once again, it's like I, I I have years ago I played this base game, but I can't remember any of the lore or what we're gonna discover as we go, and I wanna like get context for everything as we go. Um Signal scope flashlight. I don't think that there's no translator option on that, right? I feel like, okay, they showed us at the very, very beginning um, that our signal scope is only... Okay, so that's white. This is all trying to train us on things. Um, we're able to use that and retrieve that using warp technology that we developed from the Nomai. That warp technology um, is what that looks like right there. So that's some sort of warp I forget from where to where and how it works. But let's go this way then. Let's go look around. Okay. We're looking for lore in all the wrong places. And we're discovering our planet. And getting used to our controls. Although gravity is pretty heavy here, so it's not it's not helping completely. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, some old uh, glyphs. So that's the ship. There's no my and a big tree. I don't know that there's nothing down here or not. Let's uh let's look around a little bit. I did see that bridge, obviously I want to tr try jumping across here. So this ancient civilization has been here. They've been on our planet before. They've left ruins. Oh, here we go. Danger, ghost matter detected. Um, oh, no, uh, put away. Now... I should be able to see ghost matter. Right? There it is. So there's ghost matter right in front of us. We don't want to get close to it because it can hurt us, right?
I don't know what we would do here other than... Oh. So I feel like I'm really... I'm stuck. Come on. There we go. Let's get out of here. So, also teaching us, though, I can run around and I can use... So I can't go through there. But I can use my camera. I can take photos so we can go up and around there. There we go. Can I not? There we go. I gotta kind of jump and do it. All right. Nice. Gravity. Okay, good luck to us. Oh. I think we hurt ourselves a little bit. But. That's okay. I'm going to keep my um, camera out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the geyser we could have landed in. Or tried to land in. It might not have worked out right for us. Alright, let's uh, put this away. Let's get a little translator. Mining site 2B. Or not. Wait, is it 2B? 2B. Just kidding. Oh. Ah, yes, guys. Puzzles. All you do is look at it and move it over. Let's, um, let's equip our scout launcher again. Make sure we don't... You know what? They're gonna let us know. Old, uh... No, my... Oh. Oh. Okay, so let's, um... No! No! Okay, I'm underwater. Oh. So... Oh my gosh. So there's all types of holes. It's geothermal, it looks like. It's crazy. How do I get in there? Does this take me right where I need to go? It does. so creepy, isn't it, guys? I know there are parts of this game that are scary to people. Oh, there's a bunch going on over there. We found what we wanted here for a minute, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, untranslated, let's translate. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. So they created the Ash Twin. This isn't this the ore from the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timberhearth's or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Little uh, prime directive action. Psychad. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned a core dingly. Accordingly. Uh, uh, okay. 
I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. Coleus, how else would he improve? Now, I feel like... I don't know that it matters. I'm still going to remove this and take it down this way. Let's, um... All pieces of things. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to drop the scroll there. Ooh, pick up Ash Twin Pro Project Stone. Oh, jeez. You guys. That's creepy, isn't it? Did that take us to the Ash Twin at some point? Let's put that one down. Um. Man. But can... Can this go anywhere? Scroll does not fit. Scroll does not fit. Um, can you not set it down anywhere? You have to... Only on tables. Is this writing now? Let's Let's find out what this says. Oh no, we've already we've already read this. No, we got it. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oeno. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project, which is doing what, right? Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell could that protects the Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. Disaster, you say? Okay, I believe we are set there. Ship log updated. We're looking around for extra, um, more stuff, more readings. Okay, let's head down this way. We were here. I can't remember what we have to do or not, you know. That's the whole point of this rediscovery. I. I played this game years ago. It's my favorite game in the entire world, honestly. So, oh, well, how do I... We came up that way, did we not? Was there more to get to? Hold on. Can I just run and jump to it? I feel like... Or did we just see that over here? That was it. This may be all there is to this place for me. We've heard about the Ash Twin. We knew that they lived here. They were... Read all that. Um. Let's... Oh no, did I die? Oh, I'm very injured. I wouldn't say I died, Bob. I wouldn't say I know how to get up from here. Okay, well, in that case, let's see. Can I do this again? How do we get out of here and get back where we once belonged? Yes, yes, we've been over through this. I'm 
And this is a waterfall I can't fly through, but maybe I can. Maybe I can do this. <laughs> this is how we came in, though, was it not? I think it is. We'll find out in about two seconds. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Look what we're seeing, guys. Just wonderful, beautiful. I think we're almost done on Timber Hearth, but there might be a little something something left to check out. Now, um feel like Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Look at this. Look at this. Oh god, no, 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 no. Sink down, dude. I want to translate. After close observation, mining site 2A won't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools. So unfortunately, unfortunately, we'll have to mine some of the other sites. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. This sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. On the opposite hand, new life, the species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run, but be cautious near the pools. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped me, for they are fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. Ooh. They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor, Malore, once told me about. From when our clan used to travel across the universe, I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. Oh, that's all oh, that's seeing us when we were like nothing. Oh. Site 2B is safe. Coleus says we'll continue to monitor our activity as its effects at its effects on life here. Okay. Oh, oh. Where am I going now? I feel like I'm I'm in a riptide. Oh, what that sound, huh, guys? Look at this, all these... Oh, oh. And into space. Oh my god. Immigrant. I couldn't have timed that better. I had no idea. Cheers. Okay, well, guess what happened? We learned a lot. Indeed, we did. And we're awake again. And what's that right there? Ooh. We'll just say they taught us before. It looks like a little bit of quantum action, if you ask me. So. Let's head back up. Let's check our ship log real quick, too. I feel like um, we picked up some information. What was up? Let's see where we're at. Look at all this. Well, let's come over here first. Let's, uh... Go with the Know My Minds. The Know My Mind ore from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Know My checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. The Know My discovered a species of four-eyed semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mine. Ash Twin Project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. So it gives us a reason to go kind of check that. This, this is an amazing um, 
way of keeping the game and keeping us focused, you know. Dark Bramble. We discovered a seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and has already taken root. Tektite wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. I launched my little scout inside the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. Exactly. It was huge. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Um, now we have... The Nomai discovered to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. So we have to go to Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Um, Rybeck headed to Brittle Hollow, so that's where we're going to find him. And then over here we had the village we heard about Gabro. Al says Gabro went to Giant Steep to try and learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. So, Giant Steep, Ash Twin, uh, Brittle Hollow. Those all seem like good places to go. And we're going to go there in the next episode.